Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at Word in a Million from Nicholas Einhorn. What is Word in a Million? It is a book test. It is the quintessential book test. This is the book test that I do whenever I want to do a book test. It's awesome, it's amazing, it's exactly what a book test should look like. If you wanna see what it looks like, this is it. Paul, just take this book for me. Yep. Have a browse through it at your own leisure, check all the words really are different. When you're happy that it's a regular book, I want you to open it anywhere you like, I'll look away. Okay. And then look at any word on any page that you like. Tell me when you've done that. Right, I've got one. Okay, now close the book, please. Have you closed the book? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn back round. You're thinking of just one word, am I right? In yes, the whole yeah. book. Thousands of words. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to get you to do, so that you can't change it on me. I want you to scribble the word down, write the word on this uh, little... I'll put a little post-it note on here. Write the word down, I'll look away again. Sure, okay. If you wish you can show it to the camera, it's up to you. Uh, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Tell me when you've written it down and I'll turn back round. Okay, I'll show it to the camera if that's alright. Okay, tell me when. Oh. Okay, I'm right, I'll show right, it to I the camera. To, I want you to take that piece of paper off the book and hide it somewhere in your hand or your pocket or anywhere you wish. Have you done that? Yep. All right, I don't want to say I'm trying to see it or anything, you see. So you could have opened this book anywhere you like. You could have opened the book at page 111. Could have, yeah. Yeah, or you could have opened the page at 33. Mm -hmm. Did I ask you to look at the first word? No. Did I mention you can only look at the last word? No. Did I say that you had to add up so many lines and count in? No. Did I say you're only allowed long words or short words? No, you said any. So you could have had any word in this book. You could have opened it here and yeah. looked right there, yeah? Yeah. Did I ask you if there's a, a C in it or a P in it or an F in it? No. Nothing. So how could I possibly know the word? You can't know the word. Well, I think I might know the word. Is the word furlong? <laughs> yeah. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. That's any word in any book in any language. That is a word in a million. All right, so that was Word in a Million from Nicholas Einhorn and J.B. Magic. Okay, a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews. And the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? It's not really a box. <laughs> it's kind of like a flat, cardboardy, envelopey thing. Um, but it's going to give you a DVD. DVD is only 12 minutes long, and you're going to get the necessary gimmick to do the effect. Is it what I thought? You know what, going into this, I really didn't know what to think. Um, try to do some online research, try to be sneaky about it. I thought I kind of figured it out. I was kind of right. So I'll just say yes and no, it was kind of what I thought, but uh, I still love it a lot. This trick is based on A Word in Thousands by Al Koran, which is in Austerlin's new Easy to Master series. How are the angles? The angles on this are flawless. What you saw in the trailer is exactly how the trick goes. Like that was unedited, uncut. Like did you see that? Like those are your angles. When I do this trick, um, I do it on stage. And so actually last year I was in a stage show where I did this trick every single night. Okay. And so my advantage um, for the angles obviously was that I was up high and the audience was down low, but that's not necessary. I think uh, there's great angles on this. I think it might work better if your audience is seated, like if you're in a parlor and you're standing, I think that might be great. I think that would definitely work to your advantage, but it's not necessary at all. Can it be inspected? Yes and no, because technically they already get to inspect it when you hand the book. They could literally do anything they want with the book at that point. And of course they could turn to any page. And so I think at that point they're already handling it but they're not gonna find anything. I think at the end, if they say, well, let me see that book again, then I think you might have some issue, but I think for the most part, you should dispel any of those fears the first time around when they literally get to hold the book in their hands. What's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? Um, most of the DVD, it looks like it was shot in a magic store, okay? And a lot of the DVD, at least the first part, is kind of like the trailer where you kind of just see them from the waist down. You don't really see uh, Mark Mason's head or, or the other gentleman. Um, there are some shots where Mark is standing away from the camera and he does give you a full body shot. Um, I can't really tell if they're microphoned. Um, doesn't really appear to be HD, um, but you know, it is what it is. It's very much like the old style of magic videos where 
It was just, you know, filmed at a magic shop and it was just two guys sitting around a table and saying, all right, this is how it works. Is the product well made? Okay, when you get this in the mail and you open it up, there is a chance, especially if you're a little bit older like me, there's a chance that you may have seen something like this before. And then when you see it, you're like, ah, oh, okay. So, and that's kind of gonna work to your advantage because as with some book tests, uh, I think you want to put this in more than one book, at least if you want to do an effect where maybe you had four books and you said, hey, pick a book, and then you can re-go back through the routine and say, look, I let you pick any book. In fact, um, if you wanted to, I think the utility is probably so inexpensive, you could put one in every single book that you had on an entire shelf. You know, you could say, pick a book from my, any book on my shelf. And that in itself would blow people away. And I think that because the utility is so uh, non-obtrusive, it won't hurt your books on your bookshelf at all. Like you could leave those books up there forever. It would never hurt anything. More often than not, people would never find it. Uh, those books will still be usable for you in your day-to-day -day life. So yeah, uh, it's really well made. How much practice does it require? Zero. Zero. How much setup and reset is there? Very little. In fact, you could do it in seconds. Positives. All right, so what are the positives to Word in a million? Just like Mark Mason says in the video, any book, any language, okay? I, I get that question a lot. Sometimes after I review a trick, people will ask that question about language, and they'll say, you know, will it work in French? Will it work in Spanish? This will work in any language because you can use any book. And the great thing about this is this is what a book test should look like. I've had tons of book tests. I've reviewed book tests on this channel before, okay? There's no math for you or the spectator. There's no roll an invisible die and take two numbers and add them together. You know, there's no find the, you know, top sentence and count down six and what's the first word on the sixth page. There's no piece of paper to hold that has a number and you match the number with the number that's in the book. There's no complication. It, when I do this on stage, I literally hand the book to somebody in the audience and walk away. And I turn around with my back to them and I give them all the instruction. Turn to any page you like, find any word you like. And that is true. They can find any word on any page in any book. This is how a book test should look. If you've been looking for the perfect book test, this is it. All right, so what are the negatives? The negatives to this are you don't own it and you should go buy it because it's awesome. Is it worth your money? Easily. It's 20 bucks, you're getting the DVD, you're getting the gimmick. Once you get the gimmick, you're gonna see how easy it is to put in multiple books. Uh, like I said, if you're looking for the perfect book test, this is it. So yeah, it's worth your money. Who would like this? Mentalists, people who do stage magic, people who are looking for the perfect book test. All right, so that is Word in a Million from Nicholas Einhorn and JB Magic. I purchased mine from penguinmagic.com and you can too. Thanks, bye.